Alright masters, what is object-oriented programming? It is a programming paradigm that provides a means of structuring programs so the properties and behaviors are bundled into individual objects, okay? So here we have an example. An object could represent a person with properties like name, age, and address. And the behaviors could be walking, talking, breathing, and running, right? That's what uh, the, well, the persons do. <laughs> right or it could represent an email with properties like recipient list subject and body and the behaviors are adding attachments and sending all right so that's basically the object or oriented programming kind of concept classes allow you to create user defined data structures classes define functions called methods which identify the behaviors and actions that can that an object a created from the class can perform with its data. Okay, so I have an example here, guys, of this doc, right? You know that probably we have different docs in our houses. <laughs> and here is the Bobby doc. However, we need to declare every single property in action in our base class. So here you can see the properties of the of uh, every single doc that we have. So every single doc has a color, high color, height, length, and weight. And the methods could be sit, lay down, shake, and come, right? Then we just can create a new instance of this class, of this blueprint, and we can create an object, and we can just send the values of the color, eye color, uh, height, and so on, right? Um, and we can have multiple objects based on this class. So this is like the idea of this um, small introduction of uh, object-oriented programming, what is a class and what is an object. Hope that you can get the idea.